What's up everybody, Moppet here, and yeah, today we are gonna check out a recipe to review, and today we are doing Green Tea Kit Kat by Exclusive Girl. Um, this is a kind of an older recipe, I believe it was 2016, and I've been wanting to mix it up for a really long time, and I was just missing Flavor Express green tea for way too long for some reason. Gary Washington was nice enough to send me out some, and appreciate it, man, thank you. Um, yeah, always appreciate that. But anyway, so finally got to mix it up. Actually, I mixed it up a couple months ago, but you know, finally got a chance to kind of vape on it, and, um, gather some thoughts on it. So anyways, so let's go ahead and look at the recipe. So yeah, so this is Green Tea Kit Kat by Exclusive Girl. And if you don't know, uh, Exclusive Girl is part of the Mix and Vixens. They do a live show on Sundays. Can't remember exactly what time it's at. I remember because it's like our live show. Let me see, ours is an hour. And then I think theirs is like, four o'clock my time. Maybe it's two o'clock my time. I don't remember. Anyways, uh, they have a YouTube channel. Go check out their YouTube channel and just subscribe. And yeah, they have a Facebook group too. But anyways, it's a really good show. So this is her green tea Kit Kat. It is 0.7% Flavor Express green tea, 1.5% Capella sugar cookie, 3% Capella vanilla whipped cream, and 4.5% TFA white chocolate. And if you don't know Flavor Express, that is like eSig Express's kind of concentrate line so you can only get those from eSigExpress.com. Um, worth it it's a really good green tea also pick up the lemon and i know they have some other ones that are really good but. um so I, as far as the recipe it's pretty good um it's a little light on the flavor which for me isn't bad i, I don't you know i don't need like a ton of crazy saturated flavor um so it's pretty light which is good it's easy to vape all day so for the wafer, she kind of just went really low with Capella Sugar Cookie, which is a was a pretty good move. Um, I mean, nowadays there's probably more concentrates out where you can kind of get a better wafer out of. But for 2016, this is a pretty good way to go about it. Just using that sugar cookie pretty low so you don't get too much texture, too much really anything out of it. You just kind of get that light kind of cookie note in the background. So the wafer part's not spot on, but for when the recipe was created, um, pretty good and it holds up uh, so then so then everything else is kind of based around the green tea and white chocolate and I think she did a really good job kind of making it almost like a green tea infused white chocolate I don't know <laughs> but blending those together because you really kind of like if you think what it is I've never had it I don't even know I never even knew they had green tea like that they sound interesting I want to try some but I doubt they would make them anymore but you definitely wanted she definitely like wanted to get uh, the green tea and the chocolate to kind of that blend together you know instead of being like a green tea over here and then you know separating green tea and white chocolate so I think she did a pretty good job kind of blending those together um definitely would say that vanilla whipped cream probably helps out with that kind of bringing those together and like I said just light sugar cookie just enough to kind of get some sense of a cookie wafer however you want to think about it but overall um let's see a vape on it let's say it was worth the wait uh, finally getting to mix this recipe up. I'm pretty happy with it. I would say she did a pretty big up job. Um, if I had to rate it, you know, I'd probably give it like a three and a half out of five. Like I said, it, it's a little, especially for a lot of people, I don't think there's going to be enough flavor. Um, for me, it's okay. You know, could deal with a little bit more like saturation, but it's still nice and light, pretty easy to take on. Um, so we'll just check out. So here's eSigExpress.com. And if you want to buy the one, if you just want to buy the one shot, it's called Green Tea Wafer Bar. Obviously, I'm a big put Kit Kat on there. So it's just called Green Tea Wafer Bar. Uh, eight bucks for a 30 mil, 9.7%. So you can make quite a bit out of that. So anyway, so we will stop sharing. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So good job, Exclusive Girl. I dig it. Uh, pretty decent recipe, everybody else out there. It's definitely worth giving a mix, you know. Maybe not a huge bottle, but it's definitely worth giving a mix and trying out. Until next time, eat, sleep, mix, repeat. I will talk to you all later.